Okay, let's go to the phone lines and talk with Junior from Hemet, the next caller on Heavy Junior. T's Grow Show. Junior, what's up? Gonda. Uh, I'm just uh, calling in to see. Uh, uh, I had a question. Uh, what uh, cloning? Uh, will they root quicker in a cloner or the <clears throat> conventional way? Jesus will root them quicker, so just go pray to Jesus. Everything else being equal, same genetics, all the right circumstances, the the aeroponic cloner will get roots faster. Not tremendously faster, faster, but you know, may, maybe a total of three days quicker, which time is money, and and that really matters. But also, a lot more variables in the aeroponic cloner that can go wrong and lead to you not getting any clones out of it. The tried and true. Um, either Grodan or Root Riot or Rapid Rooter Plug, something like that, that are easy, that you can keep hydrated fairly easy in a clone dome, um, is, is good to grow. The biggest problem with the aeroponic cloners is heat, overheating that um, the pump and that small volume of water, that water is going to be steaming if you don't put it on, on a cycle timer or use some type of chiller or, or ice probe. Or you can replace the pump and the manifold inside of pump one of those aeroponic cloners with, dewey with a dewy mister. It's a little mm. green uh, circular shape. like pump. It looks like a coaster with a pencil sticking up out of the top of it. You hook an air, st- uh, air line up to it. It spits the water out of the top of the tube and throws out water droplets, and it doesn't heat the water. And w- depending on the size of the cloner, you only need like one or two of them, and they're pretty inexpensive. And you could probably sell the pump. And pay for the Dewey misters and the air pump that you need, and it would probably work a lot better. Yeah. Fascinating. For about half the price, you can get a cycle timer. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, cycle t- How much is a cycle timer? 65 bucks. Yeah, I think Dewey misters are what? 10 like bucks a piece? 19.99. Yeah, so you, then that means the stores are selling them for $12. <laughs> so two of those is 24 bucks and a $10 air pump. No, they're not that much. They're about ten bucks. Yeah, they're about ten bucks a piece. But then you need to get the air pump and all that. It, it depends. They're. they're the, the main thing is getting the temperature down on the aeroponic um, cloner is what causes the problems. Also, cleanliness. Don't, don't reuse those neoprenes in the, the power cloners or the aeroponic cloning machines. Throw those away each and every time. Those are little cesspools of bacteria and disease that will uh, reduce your success in cloning in those machines. And then running hot water with a high concentration of water to H2O2, the 30%. Letting it run through the manifold, through the pumps, through everything, each and every cycle, in between each and every cycle, so it kills everything off. You don't want a little microcosm of pythium or some other gnarly root disease to, to take hold in there, and then you're never going to get rid of it without switching out all of your internal components. All right, so as long as my room's nice and cool, I shouldn't have no problem. Uh, well, the problem isn't no, necessarily no, the room no. being cool. It's that the pump is so such a high-pressure pump that it produces heat, and the heat heats up the water. Oh, okay. You want your room to be like the desert, really hot, but the plants were really cold. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't, my book. Where do you shop at? Hydrozen. Hydrozen. Yeah, Hydrozen and for, for his cloning machine, I'm going to send him the trifecta, dude. I'm going to send him the HydroGuard from Botanicare to keep Boom. them nice and clean so they don't trifecta. have to use a bunch of H2O2 or anything. That oh, is a single <laughs> bacteria strain that keeps everything clean. I'm also going to send you some of the Rhizoblast. So once oh, you get a stock root, that Rhizoblast, um, you add that to your reservoir or water it in by hand, and your roots will simply explode. You want to get that lateral root growth, um, that tubular root growth, that rhizoblast helps make that happen. And then if you take traditional clones, I'm going to send you some of the rhizo gel too. <laughs> all that stuff is well worth over $110, all from our friends at Botanicare. Give them a shout out um, on their website. They made this happen for you, dude. You're going to see a tremendous increase in your cloning success by using those products. Oh, and let's send them some Green Pad Juniors too. <laughs> Boom. Because Mark loves Green Pad Juniors and everyone's cloning dome. All right, dude. Thanks for calling, brother. You're listening to DFCRadio.com.